Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm Overexplained. Today we are continuing our push towards this lead seal over here. We've got a couple of interesting options. If we park next to this bandit camp, we will not have access to trading or trade routes. Um, but also, if you'll notice, because it overlaps Stag's Refuge there, there are two spots where I would not get food from. We've got the Cursed Royal Woodlands here, which is something that I'm going to want to showcase sometime very soon. But the ultimate goal is to get to the Lead Seal. And if I go down here, given how long these first two settlements took me, I might not be able to get there in time. So I think we're going to split the difference. We're going to go back into the marshlands. And we're going to try to focus on winning this game a little bit more quickly. My last couple of videos were pretty long, which is fine, but you want to make sure you are winning your settlements as quickly as possible so that you have as many chances to get to the seal before the end of the cycle as possible. So we're staying on Viceroy. We're going to go with the beavers and the humans. We now have this herbalist camp as a... Um, as an essential if we want to take it. And I actually think we do, because one of the giant organisms that's available here are mushrooms. Would be nice to have this herbalist camp right away. We'll also go ahead and pick up 30 vegetables to get some early food. Let's get going. Okay, what mysteries do we have? First off, five amber every drizzle season, plus an additional five for every hostility level. So the higher the hostility, the more amber. That's good to know. Standard looming darkness. Absorption. Blight rot cysts consume the storm's energy and become more resilient, making them stronger, and that's at uh, level two. As well as rotting wood, woodcutters fell trees faster, but will always destroy their yield. So I'll want to make sure that I am firing all of my woodcutters for the storm. At level 3, the rain smells like blight rot. Each level of hostility slows, or slows global food production by 15. So that's going to be at least 45% because it takes 3 to get here. And finally, at number 4, strange lights. Um, every time they produce something, there's a 20% chance of destroying the yield. Of course, all of that only happens during the storm. So we'll start with our opening path. I'm going to go ahead and grab the weaver and the lumber mill right away. And I think I'm going to get the forager camp as well, again, because of that giant proto-wheat that's out there. Now, normally I don't get my blueprints that early, but I found some here that were pretty useful pretty quickly. So we'll get that set down even though it'll be a little while before we can actually build it. Weaver we should be able to get going right away, though. Get some housing in there. I still want to get the crude workstation for a little while at least. We'll drop a small trapper camp over here to start picking up this meat. Ooh, look at the new symbol for the uh, the Forbidden Glades. This is indeed patch 1.1. We have had an update. Maybe I'll do an update, or maybe I'll do a video on the update. But it looks like we want to get into this glade right here pretty quick. Ooh, that's a new icon too. Very nice. So we'll start there. But I don't want them to cut through until I get my first orders. And then we'll set up a second woodcutter camp right here, aiming for this Forbidden Glade eventually. But for now, we're not going to have it go all the way in. There we go. Get a park down, and a trader, and we'll be good to go.
first cornerstone meat specialization would be really good because we're already harvesting meat right now gain an additional trade route slot and traders arrive quicker we have seen how incredibly powerful trading can be in this game gain 10 jerky for every 10 pie so that's not going to happen it's one of these two they're both really good i think i'm going to go with meat specialization because it's going to benefit me more immediately First orders. Complete six trade routes, we'll probably do that. Or we can deliver 15 pigment. Yeah, let's go with businessman. Trading post as well. And finally, we can either deliver six purging fire, or we can have at least five cysts at the same time. Hmm. Let's go with Call to Arms for this one. No specific um, reason for that. I just think that it's probably going to be good. We're starting with fewer people than I'm used to. That's not a big problem. We're going to make sure you're avoiding glades. Alright, what do we have? Forsaken Crypt. We can tear it down. To get some tablets, some herbs, and a scout's pack. Or we can calm the spirits using items we don't have. We're probably going to have to tear it down. But that's going to necessitate us trading anyway. I'm going to set you back to avoid glades. We do have stone up here, so that's really nice. We'll go ahead and set down a camp, even though we're not going to be able to staff it just yet. Drop a geyser pump. And we've got new uh, icons for the traders as well. Sahilda is no longer a generic human. Um, do I need her to come in right away? 11 and a half minutes, an impatient point, and all of my amber and wine will be lost. I do have some amber. And we're going to want to set a forager's camp up here with this wheat. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the way. The question is, can I hold out? This is a five-minute requirement. Sahilda comes in six minutes. I'm afraid I have to call her now. Now, trading post is complete. But if I use it, I'm going to lose that 10 amber, and I might need that. So I'm going to hold off for just a moment. Hi. You've got the trapper camp, which would complete the trifecta. Because those are the three things that you can get in the marshlands, right? Meat, mushroom, or uh, wheat. But for now, I think it is planks that we need. Yeah. 30 of them. My god, that's a lot. Yeah. Alternatively, we could get fabric. Yeah. So we'll grab 20 fabric. Yeah. And we'll immediately start tearing down this crypt. Uh -huh. I get minus six to global resolve for every ten amber in my warehouses, but I don't have any amber left. 
However, I do really want to get trading post done because again, we want to try to get through this as fast as possible. I have one amber, so I need nine. We're going to trade a few of our parts, which is a risky gamble, but it's a thing that I'm willing to do. We're going to pick up that 10 amber. It's going to drop our uh, resolve for, for a moment there, but we're going to turn it in and get those parts back, as well as a blueprint. We're already getting... Um, wheat. So either a scribe or a provisioner, depending on whether I want to go ale or flour, both are good, but packs of provisions allow me to do trading. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the provisioner. Set it there. And then we're just going to have to chill for a little bit because we don't have any people left. Although I really do want to get those houses fixed, so I think I'm going to pull... Another one of these uh, woodworkers. And we're going to go ahead and prioritize the houses. I'm holding shift to prioritize all of them at once. As we come up to the storm, I really only need to get rid of enough woodcutters so that my hostility goes down to zero. So, drop one, drop two, that gets us to zero. The beavers can keep cutting wood. Is my one harpy you're out at the crypt no we're gonna replace you with a human harpies enjoy working with cloth so we're gonna put the harpy in the weaver for that extra little boost of resolve you're gonna be making fabric with a limit of let's say 30 and that's all for now we will make bricks and planks here with a limit of 10 Now, I'm thinking about staffing this trapper camp right away to get started on that uh, that meat bonus I'm going to get. But I should be getting new people pretty soon. Right now, in fact. Let's start with the cornerstone. Every villager with their need for education fulfilled increases global production speed by five. Did I go with the scribe? No, but the lumber mill can make this, so that is a thought. Discovering a small glade increases the working speed of scouts investigating. This is good, but it takes some timing. I think I'm going to go with calming the forest in the hopes that I get some glade events that I can, I can empathy through. Harpies are doing pretty well right now. Happy to hear that. We're done with this event. Let's go ahead and welcome our new people. And we're going to go ahead and break into this glade as well. We hit level one. We're aiming for level two, but we don't have the people yet. We do want to start making those decorations, though. So I'm going to make... 
a second park. I'm kind of boring with my decorations, if you haven't noticed. I just like making the ones that have four squares. So I usually end up building a garden for my um, aesthetic decoration. And again, not everything has to be staffed all of the time, especially at the beginning of a run. And we are picking up reputation through these harpies right now. Alright, what do we got? We have another ancient shrine. We can either loot it, or we can excavate it using tools. We don't really have tools, we do have eggs. We're going to go ahead and really fast... Go into consumption control. We're going to ban eggs for the time being. So that we can use them for, for this. That gets us up to hostility 4 really quick. We stop with, or we stop uh, gaining our reputation. But, if I go ahead and favor the harpies, that'll keep them up in their happy range. New orders. Stacking Amber. Complete roots with an offer multiplier of three or higher. Now, this is new. I assume this means, like, selling three of something. and then, Or I could also do building materials and crops. Bonus, uh, bonus Harpy resolve is good, because in my experience, the Harpies tend to be the ones to, that are the most difficult to keep happy in the long term. Yeah, let's go with aiding the flock. And then, if we're going to be doing crops already, advanced farming is a possibility. Not that I need any of that. So I guess we're doing Harpy Influx. It's going to be a very Harpy-heavy game today. Start getting some of that storm water going. are low on fuel, which is a bit of a concern. Seems to happen to me a lot. And now that we're back to hostility level 1, as soon as I can, I'm going to start favoring the harpies again. See if I can push just a little bit more reputation. Okay, what's next? If we want to do this quickly, we have to be acting fast. We have a provisioner going up. We're going to go ahead and set the priority of that. And then we need to start gathering things that we can use to make supplies. We've got plenty of herbs, though, so we can start making packs of supplies with that. Definitely need more people, though. Now, I only have one har Harpy, so the fact that they're super happy means I'm still only getting 0 .01 resolve per minute, but it's better than nothing. Zorg, how's it going? The cookhouse would be super useful. I have 25 amber, and I still have 6 ancient tablets. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick that up first. We're going to sell half of our ancient tablets. Just in case I end up getting a, like, a, a quest or something that requires them. Nothing. Okay. Can I even get a root in there? No. Okay. okay. So that gets me back up to 25. Do I want rich in fiber? No, not really. What I need is more people. Provisioners up. 
So we're going to go ahead and start making... We'll, let's say we'll cap out at, at roughly 10. Unfavor you. And we'll drop our cookhouse. Right there. We're only at hostility one, so we're doing fine. I am going to start making my blight post, though. Or at least mapping it out, because once again, I need that six purging fire. Though I suppose I could buy it, that would also work. Okay, new cornerstone. Bonus leather production. Scouts work faster for every hearth. Or gain 12 amber for every 50 ale produced. I'm expecting to make a lot of ale by the end of this, so I'm going to go with local taxes. And we've got newcomers right now. I think I want the extra people, so we're going to go with this one. We're going to prioritize this lumber mill. And now we're going to start staffing our facilities. We've got plenty of fabric. Do we have anything that can make coats yet? We don't. So instead, we're just going to start gathering. We're low on fuel, so I'm not going to start making planks just yet. I do think, though, we want to get into this coal here to try to mitigate our fuel problems. And we've got a couple of trade routes. Ha, <laughs> trade routes. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. Yes. Uh, I need a multiplier of three, right? So I'm going to go two, three. That was what the trade routes was, right? No, it's just six trade routes. I must have been misremembering. Possibly a different one that I didn't end up choosing. So now essentially all we're making in the crude workstation is bricks. New orders. Wants us to serve ale, wants us to complete 10 trade routes. Well, we're definitely, we've been doing a lot of trade routes. Let's go ahead and pick export. Five trade routes worth at least 11 amber each. Kind of wishing that I had gotten that before the trade route that's out right now, because I could have made that worth 11, but no worries there. If we break this open, we'll get a lot of good stuff, including ale, which we kind of need. Prioritize this mine. Two, 
two minutes left. We're going to have to get through the storm before we deal with it. Harpies are low, but I'm not too worried. We'll go ahead and ditch 15 flour for 6 amber. We need more housing. We'll drop just one. Tools would be nice. Favor the harpies so we don't lose one. Which should get us to the end of the storm. Okay, a lot of stuff just happened at once. We're going to start, as always, with the cornerstone. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. I think that's going to be it. Yeah, Trade Hub is excellent, especially if we're going to be doing a trade-heavy game, but I think Smuggler's Visit is more important right now. We get to choose a blueprint out of all of the blueprints. So if we already have wheat and we're looking to get... Let's see, what, what do we need? Okay. I think I'm going to hold on to this for a moment. Selling a part is risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hey. I have 61 um, amber already. I will go ahead and take the trapper camp. So now, regardless of which um, forbidden glade I go through, I should have what it's or what is necessary. And also, since I've got so much money, I may as well send one of these caches to the Citadel for a little bit of reputation. So we'll send that, and then get back to work cutting trees down. And we're going to begin to cut our way towards this Forbidden Glade over here. We're not going to open it yet, but we're going to start the process. Got new people coming in, which should allow us to fill up both of our woodcutter camps, as well as, as soon as this mine is up and running, we'll start making planks, but we're going to start slow, because we don't want to use all our fuel. In fact, do you have planks for me to buy? No, of course not. Would have been nice. That said... We'll get some bricks from her. Same deal, we're going to start cutting our way up. Uh, 
and we'll set a warehouse down here as well. New trade route. 13 amber, very nice. Sell one of my ancient tablets. Start making some of those uh, orders go up. We still have some homeless folks, so let's go ahead and make another shelter out here. I feel like we're going to have to switch to these eggs. No, I want to keep I want to keep harvesting meat though because I want that benefit. So I think I'll wait until they're done with this meat and then I'll move them over to to get those eggs. That should be enough to get us the businessman order done. Probably set our next hearth right about there. Okay, so we have the meat to make skewers. Roots are a little bit tougher, though. We do have flour, and we have herbs. So we're going to drop one person in here. Start making some skewers and some biscuits. We're gonna drop a harpy in here. I'm, I'm worried about our wood supply is all. Like, I am concerned just a little bit. Trader is a long way away. Ooh, I like Vliss's new picture. Well, we've got the mine up and running. So let's start dropping people in there, and we're only going to be picking up coal for now. So I'm de-clicking uh, uh, copper ore, because I really only want to be getting copper out of there. Order. Looks like we're going cups and glasses. A tavern, deliver 50 ale. This one has 40 ale in it. So at some point I'm hoping to be able to break this open. got trade routes done, so that'll get us a couple of people and some amber. And I think next season we're going to break through one of these two Forbidden Glades. Uh, we only need six Purging Fire. Everyone's resolve is low. Let's fire all of our woodcutters. And we will go ahead and sacrifice one wood per turn. And we're still going to have to play the favoring game, but it's fine. Watching that number going down is very stressful. Okay, we got to stop this. We seem to be stable at the moment. Nice. As soon as that second hearth gets lit, our hostility goes down a bit. And we're good for this storm. New cornerstone. Receive three packs of provisions for every new villager. Done and done. We no longer have to make packs of provisions here. We will be set for life. We still want to make flour, but we'll get to that when we get to that.
Yep, we're selling everything. And we are cutting into this glade right here. And we're going to head back up here and get ready to cut into this other glade, but we are not going to do that just yet. And what we get in here is going to sort of determine what our next building is going to be. Purging fire is done. Okay, it is the ancient proto-wheat. We also have a fishman outpost. We can either hunt them down, or we can bribe them. Hunting them down gives us reputation and amber, which I think is going to be the way to go. So we're going to switch it to stone, and we're going to get two people out here to deal with them. We are going to lose food, but I feel like food is not going to be that much of an issue going forward. A beanery. Beaneries make porridge, pickled goods, and crystallized dew. It would definitely be useful, so we're going to go ahead and assign someone to rebuild that. And we'll make an herbalist camp right here if we have the parts, which we don't. That's fine. We need more parts. Do any of our... Okay, so among the flock would give us some parts. And export, that's the big one. That gets us a bunch of, of them. So we're going to get those trade routes done and we'll have more parts to use. So I'm gonna go ahead, now that I know there's the proto-wheat there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the brewery. And I also have two more. To choose. The brickyard would be nice. The brick oven might be even better, though. I can't make pie yet. Yeah, we're going to go with the brick oven since we're about to get lots and lots of flour. None of these are particularly useful to me. Um, I'm not likely to get a whole lot in the way of farm fields. Let's reroll this. The tool shop is a possibility. We could also get wine. If we're going to go tavern, then wine's probably a good plan. So let's grab the cellar. And we're going to hope that we, we luck into the tavern at some point. As promised, Trapper Camp's going to come over here, start working on these nodes, as well as this large meat right here. We have 106 amber to work with. I would love some reputation, please. So that gets us a half a reputation. I would also love to lower the hostility, please. And is there anything else I can do like right now? I need a tavern really badly. You don't have a, a blueprint for that and that's fine. But with all this money, what else can I do? There are some caches here that I think I should be able to get rid of. Like maybe this one. I need 24 tools. Let's see if I can afford it. I can. And we're going to get 30 of that amber back. Caches are really amazing. It's worth investing into getting rid of them or into dealing with them okay I no longer need anybody in the blight post no tavern unfortunately I'm gonna spend five to reroll no good again I guess we're going to go with the smokehouse so we can start turning that meat into jerky. Okay, are you dealt with yet? No, we're working on you.
So we can start making porridge. And we can start making crystallized dew. I'm going to put the limit at 20 on that because I don't want to use all my herbs on it. But we will go ahead, get someone in there. Good, good. Okay, just a quick check. We can put another person into the forager's camp here for more wheat. Put someone into the weaver there. Where else? We're going to need to find a way to make one of these containers pretty quick here. Uh, since we're low on food... Oh, you don't have any food to sell. That's unfortunate. I was going to buy some food, too. Oh, well. Um, let's stop making these planks. I need that wood for fuel. Okay, we've got a bunch of people who need a place to live now. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start making some space and making some homes. There we go. We've got a lot of food in some of these. How long is it gonna be for the trader? Nine minutes? No, I'm gonna get you here right now. So through the ancient, amazing new portrait. Got the Glade event done, which gets us some amber just in time. Still no tavern. All right, Sother, what do you got for me? I need food, which you don't really have. Although, if I get herbs and flour, that should be enough to make biscuits, right? Right, okay, cool. So let's do that. Let's see. Water skins would be nice. There we go. I think that's a good deal. And we've got all these packs of provisions that we're not really using at the moment. I don't need this many. So I'm going to go ahead and just sell some of them. recoup a little bit of my expenditure there. Okay, so now we're going to move our forager's camp, or our harvester's camp. No, it's forager. We're going to move it away from here and up to here. Because herbs, oil will help us uh, keep the fire going, and it also gives us amber. And in fact, as soon as we get more parts, we're going to make more camps out there. Okay. Still nothing here, although the clothier will help. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the clothier. We'll set you over here by this warehouse. Make some paths so that this makes sense. And you move back here and keep avoiding glades. 
I need two more trade routes. I've got plenty of provisions, so hopefully we'll be able to get that going pretty quick. We'll make some benches this time. Okay, we got two more trade routes, which is exactly what we needed. It's a lot of cloth to be selling, but I'm going to do it anyway. I really need, what, two more trade routes for export. Twelve trade routes, 35 amber. You know, it's if this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing. We're going to go trade baron. sacrificing some coal but we can't do it for too long we are going to lose a harpy uh, nope we managed to keep the harpy by the skin of our teeth stone cutter camp's got to get moved and we made it through We're not getting any high-value trade routes yet, but we will. Okay, we're not making drizzle water, so cooking steam isn't great. Selling goods worth 60 amber. Okay, I think Trade Hub is going to be the way to go here, because we're doing a lot of trading. So hopefully we'll be able to get our reputation up that way. Now what do we need to be doing? The first thing we need to do is start cutting down wood again. And then I think it's time to cut into this new one. I think, I think it's time. This mine is out of coal, so we are once again beholden to wood for our fuel. Um, we're going to go ahead and set a forager camp down here. Even though we can't build it just yet. And we're going to grab our woodcutter camp. Let's get in here. Ooh, I moved it at the wrong time. Okay, so they're unloading into the warehouse, then they'll start cutting. Okay, we've got meat, we've got two new caches, and we've got a drainage mole that we can either chase away, same as before, or we can feed it for empathy. Um, first off, we got our export trade route, so let's start there. Brings in more people, gives us more parts. This is going to suck, but I think we're going to have to chase it away. The reason I say it's going to suck is because that plus 300 hostility is really going to hurt. Give me a tavern. No, but I did get monastery, which I will take instead. Not my first choice, but I will, I will not complain about it.
And uh, while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and make a trapper camp right here next to the big guy. And we're going to move this other trapper camp right up here next to the big guy. We're going we're gonna to play the favoring game a little bit to try to see if we can eke out a little bit. Um, we still have people unhomed. I feel like if I make another house over here and then some decorations... We should level this up to two, and that should help out our hostility. Didn't intend to open that up. Let's go ahead and send you back to No Glades. We do have our first fertile soil, though. Um, is there any other way I can lower my hostility just a little bit? That'll keep me safe for a little while. Well, it was nice while it lasted. So we'll play the favoring game again for a little bit. Four minutes. This is gonna be rough. We're gonna we're gonna be stuck with the extra um, hostility for just a little bit of the storm, which is going to suck. And then where's my proto wheat? All the way over here. We're gonna go ahead and staff you and staff you. We're gonna start mass producing food. We're going to welcome new people in, so that if we do start to lose people, it's not a big deal. Now, we still want to be above 11, if at all possible, right? So I can go 2 here, that's 12. I can sell 48 leather to also get 12, so that should help me out with the um, fair exchange and the trade routes. The addition of the little violin, it adds the violin in the background of the music whenever it's looking like someone's about to leave. That is a very good touch. Uh, we should also be doing packs, by the way. I should have been doing that a while ago. Let's go ahead and make a makeshift post. We'll use that to make some packs. Oh, I accidentally clicked it on and off. That was not what I meant to do. Oh well. We got Zorg. We're gonna grab all of these tools. And uh, how are we doing? We're kinda low on food and fuel. Hello. Insects, or one insect for every two mushrooms produced is pretty nice. We'll grab some oil. And we'll grab some mushrooms. Oh. Yeah. Well, good. Still having a rough time with harpies. See if I can favor very quickly. But this needs to end. This needs to go. Okay, 
right, everyone's having a bad time, but we only have 20 seconds left to go. Okay. Very rough, but I think we can recover from this. New trade route. Mine is out of ore, so we can break it down for parts. And we're back. Cornerstone first. We do plan on having leisure at some point, so let's go ahead and do well-rested workers. And in fact, as soon as the monastery is built, that's going to be the way to go. So let's go ahead and start making some bricks again. Uh -huh. We've got plenty of fabric. Planks are going to be a difficulty for a little bit because we are out of wood. Let's start by fixing that. people into the provisioner, I think, because we're starting to get grain again. We have 15 tools, so we could find a medium cache if we've got one. Nope, they are all large, they all need 24 tools. Harpy house, yes please. How many harpies do we have? We have six. So we're gonna head and go two, four, six. Make some housing just for the harpies. Um, with harpy influx, we're almost there, so I'm going to go ahead and ban people from eating mushrooms for the moment. See if we can get there. Makeshift post. Okay, so we need packs of building materials. I think we need six, right? And then pack of crops. No, not mushrooms. I think we need six of that as well. No, we only need four of each and we already have the crops. So we should be able to get that one done pretty quick. We're doing great on Amber, so as soon as the trader comes back, we'll be able to really get some stuff going. Gonna favor the Harpies to start earning some reputation. Although the reputation is less because of the, um, the cornerstone we took.
pack of building materials. Sadly, no. I'm not going to be selling those just yet because I want to get the order done. And we're almost there on mushrooms as well. Monastery's going up. Harpy Influx is done. Which means we have more harpies, which means we need more harpy houses. There we go. So we should be able to start getting leisure down. Um, can we make incense anywhere? The smokehouse can make it. So we will. I don't have anything to make the last pack of building materials with. Is it worth two impatience? I did say I wanted to get this done quickly. Let's risk it. Because this is already going longer than I wanted it to. Okay, what do you got? Planks. Yes, please. Pottery. Ale. Too bad you don't have incense. And also, because we're selling so much, that's getting us reputation, right? Every 60. So I need to spend another 60 to get me another point of reputation. So we're going to buy all these barrels. We're going to buy all these herbs. We're going to buy all this flour. Leather. Bricks. That gets me yet another reputation point, so I think we're going to finish this up pretty quick after all. None of these are super useful to me, so I'm just going to ignore it. Should be able to finish up that pack of building materials now. the flock is done. We're almost there. Definitely want to replace the harpy that left here. Pick biscuit diet. We're going back to favoring harpies. You know what? Because we can, we're going to call Zorg over here.
Zorg, you don't have tools, but you do have half a reputation right there, which gets me up to 13.97. And that should be the end of the game. Not bad, let's head back out to the world map and see how we did. Ah, so you see the distance in time between Stag's Refuge and Beverton is a lot shorter than this one back here. So there are two lessons to be had here. One, in order to um, increase the speed of your runs, you wanna make sure you're constantly focused on getting your next reputation. And secondly, it's not the end of the world if people start leaving or if you start getting really bad resolve. Sometimes you gotta take big risks to get the big rewards. Let's head to the city, take a look at our deeds, get our upgrades. 30 trade routes, no problem. 3,000 amber, all done. And then we still pretty much don't have any of the machinery or artifacts that we need, although we could get this one here. Reduction of fuel consumption in hearths and an extra cornerstone reroll. Yeah, let's start there. And then I think the only other thing we can get is Pioneer's Gate level three. Embarkation bonuses you choose have more resources and a bonus to walking speed. We'll unlock that one. Back out to the world map. Looks like next time we're gonna delve into the cursed royal woodlands. And then the one after that, we should be able to seal up this, uh, this lead seal. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you then.